Florida is not the only state in a state of emergency. Ahead of Irma, Georgia's coast is also in the path of the storm, and that puts one of the nation's biggest shipping ports at risk. Diana Olick reports tonight from the Port of Savannah. The containers are going up and on as quickly as possible. More than 4,000 on this ship alone. They have to get on so they can get out to sea and relative safety. Billions of dollars worth of international commerce are at stake. We are a gateway to the southeast, so all the states in the southeast we're servicing through imported goods and exported goods. And very important uh, total of impact of about $84 billion a year for the southeast. The Port of Savannah is the fourth largest shipping container facility in North America by volume, but the largest by acreage, and that makes shoring it up an enormous task. The most difficult thing is tying down these massive cranes behind me. They're ship to shore cranes, about 1,400 tons. They have hurricane tie downs built into the crane, and we have tie downs built into the dock as well. So the team has to go down and tie each crane down, 26 of them, and that'll take several hours. The port must be fully secured by Saturday morning as the Coast Guard will close down the channel by midnight Saturday night. The companies that move goods in and out of here, like Target, Amazon, Caterpillar, and Home Depot, to name a few, will just have to wait until the 1,200 or so workers get the all clear to come back. After Hurricane Matthew last year, it took this port nearly two months, not just to become fully operational, but to catch up with all the commerce. Clearly, it is the economic engine for much of the state of Georgia. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Savannah.